Bringing home a newborn baby for the very first time is a moment that a lot of parents will absolutely never forget. But for one mother, that moment was nearly cut short. She almost died from a rare condition that affects women after pregnancy. In tonight's WFAA original, Teresa Woodard shows us the one thing that saved her life. She weighs almost nine pounds now, so she's growing good. Mm. Woo. <laughs> Spend one minute on the couch with the Leverett family and you feel love. <laughs> you wrapped around a finger. Ooh. Start one conversation with him and you sense fear from a mom who survived. You don't know when you're going to breathe your last breath. I didn't know. There was no warning. Sudden cardiac arrest. I was here, gone, and here. <laughs> That's what happened. She can laugh, so clearly Bobby doesn't dwell on the what ifs, but she home. thinks about them. It was insane. And she wants other pregnant women to think about them too. Ask your doctor questions. In the final weeks of her otherwise normal pregnancy, Bobby had trouble breathing. Her legs swelled. She couldn't lie flat. I just thought it was because I was big and pregnant. <laughs> Journey arrived a few weeks early, but Bobby's symptoms worsened. Two weeks after giving birth, she went to the ER. Really all of her symptoms were consistent with what we call uh, paripartum or postpartum cardiomyopathy. Dr. Andy Berggren diagnosed Bobby. Yeah, postpartum so. cardiomyopathy is a form of heart failure that can happen during or after pregnancy. It is rare, but on the rise, especially among black women. Women of African-American descent are at a much higher risk. Uh, women over the age of 30 are at a higher risk, and then women who've had multiple pregnancies in the past. The cause is a mystery, making it impossible to prevent and difficult to detect. It is frequently overlooked because a lot of the symptoms of heart failure can mimic just sort of normal uh, postpartum symptoms. Medication usually helps restore heart function, but not in Bobby's severe case. With her heart functioning at just 25%, she left the ER with a wearable defibrillator called a life vest. And within two weeks, the vest saved her life. I'm laying in the bed, Journey is in her bassinet. She's squirming around, but for some reason I did not pick her up, thank goodness. Um, I'm on my cell phone, I black out, just like that. The vest administered a shock, which restarted her failed heart. And if I did not have that life vest on, I would be dead. With a new life right beside her, her own life could have ended. A days old daughter almost had no mother, a husband. All right, Jesus, you know. No wife. <laughs> Her heartbeat now sounds strong and steady thanks to a permanent defibrillator and pacemaker surgically placed in her chest. And I feel very good about her overall prognosis. We just have to take one day at a time. The red t-shirts are from a support group Bobby joined. The what ifs do bother her, but holding journey, she is at peace. She's a blessing in itself. Grateful her family's journey continues. <laughs> Teresa Woodard, Channel 8 News. <laughs> One in about 3,000 women experience peripartum cardiomyopathy. It can appear in the last month of pregnancy up until five months after giving birth. If you experience some symptoms like Bobby did, extreme fatigue and shortness of breath, it is critical that you go talk to your doctor.